I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. And welcome to another video in our series. And once again, we're tapping into the mailbag. And the question we have out of the mailbag today had to do with how do we consult for haircut suitability? The question of whether a haircut will look good with an individual's facial shape, other features and things like that. I think it's a great question and I think it's important that we address the fact that a great haircut is only a great haircut if it really fits and works with the client and I think this cuts to the root of what that question was all about. So as always I've got top five tips for consulting for haircut suitability and tip number one is to take a good look and sometimes we look with our hand take a good look at the client's hair density and texture when a client brings you a picture and says how will this look on me the first thing we have to ask ourselves is do you have the material the hair fiber or fabric to support that look density texture and color Color also comes into play when we talk about what we call scalp exposure. That is to say the degree or the extent to which we can see skin through the haircut. And remember, a number one buzz cut on dark hair on a dark complected client will have a very different look from a number one buzz cut on thin fine hair of a lighter color on a client with a paler facial complexion. Same exact length, same exact haircut, vastly different finished look or appearance. So number one is assessing what the client's got in terms of density and texture. Number two, and I think the most important one when really looking at whether we can deliver the haircut for someone is the issue of length. Do they have the length present to support the look thereafter? Because very often the look will be suitable but in order to achieve what we can in the here and now, we have to consider what the client's bringing to the game. If I show up with a pompadour picture, can I have it? I can have it. It's going to be a few haircuts. We're going to have to begin to grow out the top while continuing to tighten and maintain the sides. So the client's present length is an important consideration when talking about the suitability of their hair for the look thereafter before we even get into facial shape. And another consideration, and notice, none of this matters what their facial shape or what the haircut is because we as professionals can make any haircut suitable with some adaptation. But the third one is, are you willing to work with it? And that's extremely important because, for instance, in the example of a pompadour, are you willing to use product in your hair on a daily basis? Are you willing to use a blow dryer to get lift and, and push up that pomp and get your height and fullness? Because a beautifully sculpted or cut pompadour shape is going to lay there like roadkill unless it is properly addressed with product and technique. So that's going to be number four on our list. Number five, or four rather, that's three, we're up to four. Four is going to be facial shape. What's really going on with facial shape? If a client's face is very, very broad, a horizontal line like a flat top only enhances the broadness of their face. If a client's face is long and narrow, the height of a pompadour stretches and increases the length and narrowness. There are great chapters in our classic barber textbooks and in the classic cosmetology textbooks on adapting haircut shape, the placement of volume, as in height, weight, as in width, or fullness, as in overall silhouette, to a client's facial shape. One of my biggest recommendations is going to be, go back to the beginning. Go back to your Cos or Barber textbook and flip through those chapters. There's a gold mine of information available there. And number five on the list really cuts to clients' self-perception and self-esteem. How do you feel with it? How are you going to feel about how this is going to look? This is where our skills as a professional in consultation come in to really ask questions insightfully to our client about what it is they want, why they want a particular look, and whether in fact we can deliver this. This is where we become more than technical service providers, but truly helping and serving others. Because at the end of the day, it's not about whether it's a good haircut, and it's not about whether it's a haircut that looks good. It's a question of whether or not that client feels good with that haircut and you have made them feel good about you, the purchase, and themselves moving forward into today and moving on. I'm Ivan Zood. I am here for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. A wealth of great educational content and video created and offered here all the time. Thanks for watching today. Find me at IvanZoot.com on the web as well. Have a great day.